All right. Greetings, everyone. This is Dr. Cole Rasich coming at you from Advanced Physical and Aquatic Therapy. Just wanted to hop on really briefly here and share some practical knowledge on how we can strengthen our immune system by really honing in on our well-being. Now, it might sound strange, but um, you know there is a strong correlate between our immunity and our immune response and our emotional well-being. So this is a fairly recent study that looked at that relationship between someone's well-being and our immune system. And they found that there is a really strong correlation between the two, um, taking into consideration our emotion, our personality, our social status, and then things that we talk about all the time in our PT clinics, such as sleep, nutrition, obesity, and exercise. Now, certainly in today's day and age with um, at least as of March 23rd, the Pennsylvania governor's uh, shelter in place status, a lot of these things are certainly taking a pretty big hit. Um, whether you're, you, you go to the gym for exercise, you, you like to get out and, and get that fulfillment from our work and from our interactions with our community. Um, these are things that are important right now to, to limit and, and that social distancing is a great recommendation to flatten that curve per CDC. Um, but our, certainly our well-being can take a hit, and we don't want that to be at the cost of our immune system, especially um, given what's going on in, in, from a global climate today. So that being the foundation, I just wanted to take a quick look at this really awesome study that I'll be more than willing to share with you guys that looks at which character strengths are the most predictive of, of our well-being. So we're sitting at home, uh, you know, if you're working from home or you're currently out of work, um, what are we doing with our free time? And, and this is a great way to make sure that we're keeping our well-being as fortified as we can. So looking at all of these prima model characteristics. So they look at bravery, love, honesty, humor, perseverance, kindness, leadership, teamwork. And they were trying to figure out which of these characteristics had the greatest correlation to our well-being or which one was the best predictor for someone's well-being. And they found that both gratitude and the love of learning were the strongest two predictors for our well-being, with gratitude being the single best predictor. Now, Again, arguably, all of these are, are valuable. We need to be, um, you know, practice kindness on a daily basis. We need to practice humility on a daily basis. But if you're looking at kind of the most bang for your buck um, from a shelter in place standpoint regarding your well being, practice gratitude and practice the love of learning. Now, how can we practically do that? Um, first thing, Every morning you wake up, just write down three things you're thankful for. It doesn't have to be anything philosophical. Uh, just write down the first three things that come to mind and try to do that every day. If you, if you really want to get deep, you could write a letter of thanks to, to a loved one, to a family member, just something, uh, kind words that you can just mail to them. Um, I think that's, that's probably the, the lowest hanging fruit that you could do from a gratitude standpoint. And then the love of learning. Again, we, most of us probably have a lot of free time on our hands now. So pick up a hobby, learn something new, um, pick up a skill you've been trying to um, trying to learn, but just didn't find the time. Well, now you have a lot of that free time. So um, those are just two really easy ways that you can really hone that well-being and bolster your immune system. Um, and it's research supported, which we love here. So get out there and, and go flourish. Um, again, find a new hobby and, and then share share your videos with us. If there's a, a fun little thing you learn, if you learn how to juggle um, send us a video. It, it'll be a great way to um, fight the urge of social distancing. Um, one of the things, fun fact, that I've been working on is the harmonica. So I will leave you with a fairly poor rendition of Amazing Grace. out there and flourish guys. Stay well.